Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, it's the world of Wayne. We now got pack two of Agora models, build the Shelby Cobra. Now before I start, check out that sign there, that bit of artwork there, which is absolutely brilliant. It's just slightly smaller than A2 size uh, with the Cobra on it. This is from a company called Displate. And uh, I wanted to put this up when we actually do the builds because Wow, it really shows off what the Cobra is actually going to look like. Now, you probably will notice just behind the lights now, I've got most of the Cobra parts on the shelf there. The only things that I've brought down are the parts we worked in the last stage uh, of the engine. As a matter of fact, let's just show you on the top camera. We had this one and we had this one here. Now, if you want to see what we did in the last stage, I'm going to put a link up here so you can see what we did in pack one. But today is all about the heart of the vehicle. We're going to be building the engine and doing all the uh, HT leads and all the fiddly details that go along with this. So if you want to get hold of this yourself, I've put the link down here to the agoramodels.com website. You'll be able to go over to this and subscribe all the way from pack one. It is worldwide, but if you're unsure, you can ask questions there to see where it's actually shipping to around the world. Uh, but you can get hold of this yourself and build it up to the stage that I'm at at the moment. But this is an absolutely brilliant build and uh, I saw the prototype for this. It's a lovely car. It's an absolutely gorgeous car. So when you're over at the Agora Models website, you'll be able to see all the other builds that you can actually subscribe to. You've got the Terminator, which I'm building at the moment. Right up there, we've got the Super Snake. We're on pack 10 of that at the moment, but you can again subscribe to that all the way from pack one. We've got the Bismarck coming, which is going to be good. And we've also got the Zero Fighter coming, which uh, is going to look pretty good uh, to start next year off. But uh, I can't wait to get started on this. We're going to have a lovely looking engine by the end of this, I'm sure. So without further ado, let's get cracking. Okay, so stage seven is where we start from. Now, this pack contains stages seven to 15. So we'll get this open, and the first thing we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be assembling the alternator. So as you can see, I've got all the parts here. We've got two lots of screws here. We've got OP03, and we've also got OP06. So the first thing we wanna do is to take the alternator housing and base, and we're gonna marry these two together. Now, we have got a couple of lugs just on the top here, which is gonna help us to match this to the two holes that you can see on this side. So that's just gonna go in just like that. Now the hole that that's created in this side, we're gonna be dropping the pulley down all the way. Now the pulley has got sort of keyhole pattern at the end there, we're just gonna match that hole there. That's gonna go in like that. Turn it over, we're gonna hold all of this in place with an OP03 screw. So I've got them here, let's get them open. Those screws look just like that. And they're just gonna go all the way down the center here to hold all of this into place. So make sure that that's nice and tight. And there we go. That's the alternator and pulley in place. Now the next thing we're gonna do, holding the alternator this way around, we're gonna be attaching the mounting arm. Now the mounting arm's just gonna go on this way, just into the hole that you can see on the side there. Now that's going to be screwed in with one of the OP06 screws or 06 screws. So I'll get them open. Once again, load up my screwdriver. Probably best on this one to actually put the screw through the part to start off with. And then that will keep it in place for when we're screwing it into the detail. See, nice and easy. Now, I've made it tight, but not too tight because obviously we would need that to move a little bit so we can mount this to the engine eventually afterwards. We're going to do the same to the mount on the other side. So having this indent here facing up, this is just going to go into the hole on this section here. Once again, held in with one of the zero or the OP06 screws. When you do little tiny details like this, it uh, sort of emphasizes how detailed this engine actually is. So there we go, screws in place, and once again, I'm just gonna tighten that up. So when that's done, it should look just like that. Then all we're gonna do, we're gonna take over the oil filter assembly. We did this in pack one, and we're gonna be attaching this over. Now what happens is, this top bracket just goes over the top of the bottom bracket there, just to fit in the little sort of like indent you've got. So it's gonna go over the top like that. And then this is gonna be screwed into these two lug holes there. So it's gonna go on kind of like that. 
Now this is going to be screwed in with the OP06 screws. We don't want to over tighten these. So let's get probably the fiddliest one in first, which is the top one there. So what I'm going to do is put the screw all the way through that detail, then hold in the detail. This is what I find the simplest way to do it. Just marry them together like that. So I'm not going to make it too tight for the minute because I've got to put the bottom one on as well. So I load that up. Make sure that that's aligned, which it is now. And then screw that in. And when we're happy with how that's going to look, just tighten up the rest of the screws now. Not overly tight. When you're in plastic, you don't want to go too tight on it. And that is looking like that. That's all there is to do in that stage. Now lots to do in stage eight. We're gonna be doing the water pump pulley, the crankshaft pulley, and the timing belt cover. And it is good to see that we've actually got a belt on here. I do like seeing that sort of detail on engines. So I'll get all of this stuff out. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna be doing the water pump pulley. So we need this section here, which is the base, and we need this shorter section like this, which has got a lug just on the one side there. And quite simply, as you can see, we've got two holes in here. We're just gonna marry this up together, putting the lug in one of the holes, and we're going to be putting a screw in the other hole to keep that into place. Now we want to hold this in place with an OP05 screw. All the screws for this come in this stage. Now if it doesn't fit perfectly like that, then just switch it round so the lug's in the other hole. It should fit perfectly flat so that you'll be able to put a belt in there without it getting lost in any gaps or anything. So I'm going to put this screw in just like this. And now that is going to hold all of this together. Once again, you're going into plastic, so you don't want to over tighten it. So it's just looking like that. Now we're going to be attaching all the parts on the crankshaft pulley. These are the two other sections that we've got here. And once again, we've got a lug and a hole. It's going to match the smaller hole and lug that we've got on this section. So these go together just like that. It's going to create another pulley section there. And you want to push them until they click into place. You heard that click there. Now this time, in the inside there, you can see we've got a screw hole. We want to put an OP03 screw in, which looks just like that. So we put that in, that's going to hold this pulley together. Again, not too tight. So as you can see now, we've got two pulleys. So now we're going to be putting these pulleys onto the section that we just completed in the last stage. So the one we want work first is the one that we're working on first. That's just going to go into the hole that you can see at the front there, just like that. Turn it over and it's going to be held on the other side with an OP03 screw. They're the ones that we've just opened. So holding that steady and putting the screw in there, again, don't over tighten it, just enough to keep the part in, just like that. Then the next thing we want to do is we want to take this part here, which is the timing belt cover. As you can see, we've got a larger hole and a smaller hole. The smaller hole is going to locate into the lug that you can just see there. So when we put this over the top, this is going to sit quite nicely, just like that. We're going to require a screw for this. So the screw that's going to go in there, once again, is an OP03 screw. So let's put that into the hole that you can just see there. That's going to hold the housing in place. Again, not too tight. That's gonna hold all of that in there. Then we're gonna take the next pulley and we're gonna put it in the hole that we can see just in the housing that we've put in. Just push that in. You should hear it click into place, but we do need to hold that into place. So we've got some OP07 flange screws for that. Now these are quite short. I'll show you what they look like once I've loaded the screwdriver up. They look just like that. So holding that with my fingers, I'm gonna take this from the other side and put this flange screw in just there. Again, nice and slow. And then that's in perfectly. This is able to turn, just so you know, as you can see there, but that's looking like that. Which means all we have to do now is we have to put the timing belt around the two pulleys we've put in and the alternator. So there's the first one in, there's the second, and then we put this around this section here, making sure it's not twisted so i'm just having a look to make sure that's perfectly on there it's looking good and on the other side there we go that looks excellent and there's the belt on and that's all there is to do in that stage
Now in stage nine, we're gonna be working on the cylinder head and we've got some manifold pipes there. So we get these open. Now the cylinder head on the engine is metal. So uh, quite a heavy piece, good quality as well, looking just like that. This is also labeled L, so you know this is the left side of the cylinder head. Now once again, these pipes are all numbered. You can just see by the peg, you've got a number on. This one here is number two, and they're also numbered on the cylinder head here. So it's not gonna be too hard to figure out where they go. So the first pipes we wanna put in are pipes three and four. So I've got number four here. Now they are angled to go in only one way. So I'm going to put them in where they go. Here's the first one. That's number four. We'll put in number three next, which is going next to it. Just like that. They should fit completely flush to the engine. As you can see, they're actually shaping themselves on this side here. Now, the manifold pipes are plastic, chrome. Obviously, as I said, this is metal here. Uh, we've got number one here. Make sure that goes in the right way. And there's number one. And finally... Number two is going on the other side here, making sure they're flat. So now that looks, how cool does that look? That looks just like that. And that is the end of stage nine. Here's stage 10. We've seen this before <laughs> in the last stage. Obviously now we're doing the right hand side. So just like last time, we're gonna be matching these off uh, again, it's metal. The numbers are different on this one. Obviously, it says six, seven, uh, eight, and five on this one. Uh, but we're going to be doing exactly like we did last time. So we've got number seven. I'll put that one in first, making sure it is like a keyhole pattern on here. So, you know, it's pretty easy to see how these go. There we go. That's number seven in. This one is number, oh, what's this one? Number six. So making sure. Got this the right way around. Number six goes on the outside here. So that looks just like, oh, get that all the way in. And there we go, that's number six in. Then we've got this one here, which is number eight, which is going into the middle one there. Push that all the way in, oops, fell out. Try that again, there we go. And then finally, that means we've got number five left goes on this side over here push that in exact mirror of what we just done last time so we've got a lovely figure of four there but that looks just like that and that's all there is to do in that stage now stage 11 we're going to be working on rocker covers caps and spark wire holders uh, there's going to be a lot of wires in this in some of the later parts you're going to see of this so i'll get these out and these parts are going to get really fiddly and really small so i'll try and zoom up so you can see exactly what i'm doing here okay so this is what the rocker covers look like they do look quite similar but they are labeled inside this one's got an r in it and just checking this one and this one's got an l in it for left so we want the right one first this is the right one and we're going to be taking the oil filler cap looking just like that and that's just going to go into this section here so i'll push that in just like that and it's going to be held in on the other side with a 0p05 screw i've still got one of these left over from the previous stage so i've got my screw loaded up you can probably see the hole just down there i'm going to put this in here and we'll screw that home so that oil filter cap's not coming out now that's looking like that what we're going to do then we're going to just put that down and we're going to take the left rocker cover and we're going to put this cap on looking just like that this is just going to go into the hole that you can see at the top there uh it is round it doesn't matter how which way round it goes in as long as we screw it in properly i'm just going to make sure it does sit flat in there though just like that you heard it clip in so there's no gap underneath that it's pretty flush but because it clicked in, uh, it doesn't need any screws. That actually holds itself in pretty well, but that looks just like that. So there's the two rock head covers completed. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the first cylinder, which we put the manifolds on. This is the left one here. And I've got the left rocker head cover here. As I said, the letters inside. And that's just gonna sit on top of this section here. And as you can see, we've got a locating lug there with a hole just on that section. So we can line it up quite easily. And it's gonna be screwed in on the other side by two screws and those screws are 0P03 screws. So once again, rather than open a new pack, 
I've still got some of them left over from the uh, previous stages. I do like saving screws. <laughs> so I'm gently just going to put the first screw in. I'll take another one here, put that in the other side, then I'll tighten them both up completely. This one's going in this side here, just like that. Make sure they're nice and tight now. Again, not too tight because they are going into plastic. And there we go, that's the first rocker head cover with the manifolds and the engine block there. Now we're gonna do exactly the same just on the other side here with the right hand side one. So once again, we're gonna put the locating lug hole just over the top there. And once again, this is gonna be held in with the zero P03 screws. Once again, that's the first one in. Here's the second one. Again, I haven't over tightened them just so I can locate these up. Here's the second one going in here. And then I will make these tight. Excellent. So there are two manifolds and rocker covers on the engine blocks. Now, we've got these two tidy sections here which are gonna hold the spark plug wires. These are gonna go into the slots that you can see here. Now they should be enough to hold themselves in as well. As you see, I can turn that upside down. If you put it in far enough, then they should go in. There is a slight angle to them. So uh, hopefully it will help you figure out what way around they actually go when they go in. But there we go. That's that spark club cables in, or the holder as well. And that's all there is to do in that stage. Now stage 12, you see a lot more fiddly parts here. Uh, we're gonna be doing the distributor in this one and the distributor uh, cap very detailed on the distributor one of my older cars i'm old enough to remember when distributors were used uh, had these and uh, i mean most modern cars now have electronic ones uh, but they haven't changed at all <laughs> just like that and that's basically going to be going into the hole that you can see on the engine now this is what we created in pack one uh, as you can see we've got a hole just on this side here just down the bottom it is actually shaped to the shape of the distributors when we put this in it's going to fit nice and flat in there like that this is going to be held in place with one of the op03 screws and once again i've still got some of them from the old stage so i've got one here i'll put that in and make that nice and tight there we go that's the distributor in on its own and the next thing, the really, really chrome section, we have actually got two bits, but the one that's actually really bright chrome and reflective is the fuel filter. That's just gonna go into the hole that you can see there. Again, it is shaped, so it can only go in one way, but that's gonna go in like that. Once again, this is held in with one of the OP03 screws, which seems to be the screw of choice uh, in this pack. So that's gonna go in just like this. I love how detailed this engine is. <laughs> there we go. And that's the filter in place looking just like that. Now we want the left cylinder head assembly. Again, if you're unsure, it does tell you at the bottom, there's an L there. And as you can see on one side of the engine here, this side here, we've got a hole. This is gonna take the cylinder head cover cap looking just like that. That's just gonna go into this hole, it is directional. So it can only go in one way, but this is only a push in. You don't need to uh, glue that or, I mean, I suppose you could glue it, but it doesn't need screwing in. The last thing to do is to take the coil, looking like that. You've got a shape there, looks like a semicircle. That's just gonna go underneath the cap, just there. Quite simply, it's a push to fit again. This time we should hear a click when we put this on. So I'm gonna push it down. There we go, you heard that click. And there we go, that's going nowhere. And looking like that, that's all there is to do in that stage. Now stage 13, we're gonna be starting to work on the engine blocks. And this is where we're gonna have some real weight coming to the vehicle because these engine blocks, they are metal and they're heavy and God, they look good. <laughs> so I'll just get these out. Now this time, the difference is we've got some OD03 screws. We're gonna be screwing into metal now. So uh, we have to be careful of that. Now these are labeled again. We've got a left side and we've got a right side, just a, a letter down the bottom there. It's the right side that we're gonna want first, looking just like this. So we've got to identify the right side uh, exhaust manifolds and cylinder heads, which was this one here. And as you can see, we've got two lug holes here, which are gonna align it, and one screw lug in the middle, which are gonna match what you can see on top of this cylinder head here. So this is just gonna sit on 
exactly like that. It's going to be screwed in on the other side here. I'm just going to put that down gently with one of the OD03 screws. Now, I am going to be putting oil on this. We're going into metal and uh, I have got my oil ready here. The oil I use is a 3-in-1 oil. It's just your general purpose 3-in-1 oil. It's been sitting on my desk here for the last couple of months because I haven't had to use it. But uh, we're going to be putting a screw in this side here to hold that all into place. So make that nice and tight. As tight as you can get it for this one because you don't want no sections running around. There we go. And it should be nice and firm in there. No wobble at all. But that looks just like that. We're going to do exactly the same to the other side here. So I've got one of the OD03 screws. I'm just going to put a little bit of oil on that again. We'll position this again up with the lugs on this side so they match up with the engine block. Turn it upside down. And once again, just put this screw in here. And make sure that's secured nice and tight. And that just leaves us with one part here, which is the cooling fluid tank bracket. Um, we don't use that in this stage. All we've got to do in this stage is what you can see just there. Now stage 14, look, loads of details in this. Again, we're growing on the engine block there. All of this is metal, lots of things. We've also got the gearbox in here by the look of it as well. The gearbox is metal as well, look at that. I don't know if you can hear that. I'm gonna get all of these pieces out. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is gonna take the gearbox inspection cover looking just like this. As you see, we've got two screw holes in here. We wanna put OP07 screws just directly into those holes. Uh, they're more for display because they, uh, they don't actually hold any parts together. So I'll show you what I mean for that. This is what the screw looks like. They've got a flange on top of them. And we're just gonna put that directly just in here. Not too tight, just enough to hold that into place. Got the second one here as well. So we do the same on that one. Just in here, like that. Now the next thing we're gonna need are these sections here. These are flywheel covers. And once again, these are labeled. Uh, just check in, this one's got an L in it. And this one's got an R in it. We want the right one first, which is this one here. Then taking the right cylinder head cover here, quite simply, this is going to attach to this side of the engine here. Now, as you can see, we've got a small lug to align it and one screw hole. So this is just going to go underneath just like that. It's going to be held into place just here, again, with one of the OD03 screws. So I have dropped a tiny, tiny bit of uh, oil in this. Again, because I'm going into metal. So I'll put that in nice and tight there. There we go. So now that's all looking like that. I'm going to be putting the other side of the flywheel cover on. Uh, as you can see, this just marries up exactly two holes, two lugs just on top there, like that. And we're going to be putting some OD03 screws just through those two holes there. I think this is a, a case of just leaving my uh, oil here, actually. I've had one of my manifold pieces fall out there, but it's not a problem. I'll put that back in in a second, make sure that one's on nice and tight. We'll put the second one in, then I'll replace that uh, manifold that's just fallen out there. Uh, so at the moment, it's looking like that. Flywheel cover's looking really good, isn't it? Then on the end of the flywheel here, we're gonna start assembling the gearbox. Again, this is all metal, and once again, we've got a locating lug there, which is just gonna go underneath here. So it's going to position that up for us. We're going to screw that in once again with an OD03 screw. So now it's the right hand side of the gearbox housing that I've got here. Screw that into place again, nice and tight. There we go, that one's in. Then we're going to be putting the inspection cover just over the top here, just like that. So that's going to hold itself into place. And then finally, we're going to pin that all together by putting the other side just over the top of that. Just like that. So that's holding everything in. The plate can't move now. And we need to pin all of that together. As you can see, we've got a screw hole just at the bottom there. Once again, with an OD03 screw. Which just goes into that hole there. 
and make that nice and tight we do have another screw hole just at the top there so again ODO free screw dropped in a little bit of oil and I'll put that at the top there excellent so there we go that's what the gearbox is looking like on the engine block at the moment now it's come to the time that we're going to be putting some tiny details with these pipes that we've got here just into this side of the uh, gearbox cover here so we've got two short ones and one long one so you're going to need to look at these pipes carefully this is pipe number three you can identify them by the shape uh, but this one's just going to go into the top hole here just like that push that in like that and then it's going to go into the, the the larger hole just down the bottom here i'm going to line that up and push that in just like that so that's the first pipe in they do hold themselves in they're not going to need glue now the second pipe is just going a little bit further along here into that side and once again it's going to go underneath the hole where we just put the pipe last time you can hear it clicking in when you uh, put it in so we've got two pipes in there the next thing we've got is this little bracket here it looks just like that that's actually just going to push into the section that you can see just above those pipes to shield the tops of them and again it is a tight fit it does hold itself in there but i suppose you could glue that if you wanted to which means the last pipe we've got is the longest one which goes in this way with the first bend closest to this end up here the other end just goes into the end of the bracket that we just put in just like that and there we go that's all the pipes in place and that's all there is to do in that stage which leads us to stage 15 the last stage and i told you it's going to get fiddly we've got some piping here which we're going to need to cut down we've got some tiny little spark plugs and distributor uh, cap details to put in as well so we'll get all these out and we'll see how this goes i've been dreading this but uh, these are the things that make the model fun now i love these sections so the first thing we want to do is we want to take the oil pan and the protective plate looking just like this these are plastic we have got a locating lug here so it's going to help us uh, to know which way around it goes and quite simply it's just going to go on top like that so the pan is going to sit this way around over the part now that's going to be held in with some OP3, OP03 screws, which I've got here. Just two of those. So we'll get that in now. Two holes. So here's the first one. One. And the other side here. Here's number two. And there we go. That's sitting perfectly in there. Now in the two lug holes at the top, just like we did for the uh, gearbox inspection cover, we're going to be putting two OP7 screws in, which are the flanged screws here. And they're just going to screw into the top. They don't actually go into anything here. So I'm just going to put the one in here, just like that. And here's the second one here, just going into that side, just like that. Now we want to take the engine block like we had last time, turn it upside down. As you can see, we've got two lug holes here and here they're going to take two screws as well these are going to be the o d o4 screws so again we're going into metal but these don't actually screw into anything if that makes sense so i've got them here they're just uh, basically bigger screws but they do exactly the same job as the ones that we you just saw me put in for the oil pan so we put one in this side here whoops just like that screw that all the way down the oil certainly helps get these in and the second one just over on this stage over here and there we go that's those two in then we want to take the right gearbox assembly this is the one that's got the gearbox attached to it because we've got the cooling fluid tank bracket that we had uh, that i said that we need to save for this time and quite simply that's just going to go into this slot that you can see just on this side here so you want to push it all the way in there just into that sort of there we go recess there so that will fit perfectly flush just as you can see in the top there then we're going to take all of this that we had with the timing belt cover and the alternator that's going to go just onto this section here and as you can see we've got the lug hole 
going over the lug there and we need to keep that into place. So we're gonna screw that in with an OD03 screw, which I have just loaded up here and I have put oil on it. It's gonna be a little bit tricky this is, but I'm sure we're gonna get this in, no problems at all. So I'll put that screw in here. Make sure that that is nice and tight. Excellent, that's in. So that's not gonna move. Working our way around the engine, we're gonna be putting the floor pan in that we just did. So this is gonna go in this way. It can, it can only go in one way. I'm just gonna loosen these off a bit just so that they sit better in the engine block here. That's the oil pan in. Now before we close it up, we wanna put the top of the engine on so that the uh, distributor is facing towards the pulleys that we've got there. That's just gonna go in just like that. And then we can actually piece everything together now to hold all of this into place. Just like that. So that's one almost completed engine now. So we're gonna be just holding that in. I've already put some uh, oil on this onto the OD03 screws. And you wanna put these in as hard as you can get them. So that's one. I'll put the other side in here. And that's two. So there we go. That's what the engine's looking like at the moment. Pretty impressive, isn't it? Uh, so we're gonna work on the electrics now. Now we're gonna need to uh, use our sprue cutters to get the spark plugs off here. Now you, uh, they do say you can twist them like this, but it's probably better to use uh, sprue cutters because you'll get a much better, cleaner cut when you take them off. Uh, this is what it looks like though. You need to make sure you cut the whole lot off of this. So I'll get these all off. There we go, they're all off. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold them in my duck build pliers at the short end, just like this. And I'm gonna push them into the holes that we can see either side of the cylinder heads here and here. Now they should click into place. As a matter of fact, tweezers are probably the best thing to do for this. They won't need gluing. So what I suggest is put them in by hand first, get your tweezers, clamp hold and push it down. And there we go, that's all the spark plugs in that side there. And that side there. Looks like we do have one spare. <laughs> Not gonna need that. Now we need to take this cable here and we're gonna be cutting it to different lengths. So we're gonna need one, two, three at eight centimeters. Now I've got my cutting mat here. Uh, so it's pretty easy to see what's going to be uh, eight centimeters. So I'm gonna cut these now. So that's the first eight centimeter one. Second one. There's the third one. We're gonna need a seven and a half centimeter one. Which will be there, keep that one to one side. We're gonna need two seven and a half centimeter ones. So there's two of that. Then we're gonna need a six centimeter one. There we go. And we're also gonna need a 6.5 centimeter one. Put that one over there. And then finally, we just need a 2.5 centimeter one. Quite a short piece. So there is ample amount of this tube in. So I don't think we need that bit, so we can put that to one side. Now we've got these little distributor uh, sort of caps that are gonna go into the tube. So what we need to do is take these off. I'll take one off 
first and put this into one end of the pipes. Now they are quite a comfortable fit on there like that. Uh, it's not gonna need glue. So I'm gonna repeat that to all the pipes that we've got here. Now the best way to actually put these in is obviously one side's gonna go into the distributor cap here, which is here, and then the other side's gonna go over to the spark plugs. Now they've got a brilliant picture here, which basically labels where every single one goes. So as long as we put it in the same order that we see uh, on the distributor cap there, uh, we can't go wrong. <laughs> I say that, but they're famous last words. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna follow that plan and I'm gonna to start to put all of these cables in. I think this is probably gonna be best if I speed this up. So there we go, that's all of those wires in. The last one I've got is this tiny one here, which basically goes from the center of the distributor to the um, to the coil. So it was handy putting these distribution plugs in because they can only go in one way. They've got like semi-circular things, so it does make life a hell of a lot easier for you. But saying that, this still took me <laughs> a long time, about half an hour to get it exactly the way I wanted it into the coil here it's probably best to look at the pictures actually because uh, this is going to be very hard to show you on camera and I am using my magnifying glasses for this so I'm just going to put this last one in here so I have one of my uh, pipes fall out here so I'll put that back in and there we go that is the finished engine probably show you on this camera actually looking just like that with all the HT wires in in the correct firing order which I think is brilliant attention to detail on that very heavy because I said it is metal but uh, that looks pretty amazing doesn't it you know what I'm so impressed of how that looks look at it look on that side there over here you can hold it upside down it's not going to fall out but yeah really really happy with that I got a big smile on my face. <laughs> this is such a good build. Uh, Gora models, I'm telling you, my hat goes off here. This is only packed two of the Cobra. And uh, I'm already impressed at the detail in it. It's absolutely amazing. Listen, if you want to get hold of this yourself, once again, just go down to agoramodels.com there. You'll see all the other models they do there. But in particular, uh, the Shelby Cobra. What a model this is. Hopefully, we'll have pack three coming next month. I'm sure that'll be coming soon. But I really do hope you like that video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, take care.